Hi. I want to share this. I've been feeling lately bankrupt, spiritually bankrupt, and at times I get all enthusiastic. I um, I was going to a Christian church that was like a lot of uh, loud music and and um, excitement and hype, and and it was great while I was there. But then when I went home and went back to my life, uh, it was like nothing. So for the last two weeks, I've been um, searching, and I, I had nothing to do last week, and I went to Unity on the Bay, and, and um, Unity on the Bay, Chris Jackson gave a talk, and it was spectacular. I really resonated with what he was saying, because these, in Unity, they, they kind of like, it, it's for everyone. That's the name, Unity. Everything you need to get it. Okay, so basically, um, it's for me, it's for you, it's for any religion. It's not just polarized to one particular belief. So I discovered their website again. I rediscovered it. It's um, they they have um, all the talks that I just experienced at Unity are online on SoundCloud, and I want to share them with you. I'm going to share a portion of a talk that I just listened to, and it's like the very end of the talk, and it's about forgiveness. So enjoy this. Go to the website, and let me know if you get any value, because this is for everyone in the world. I love it. Thank you. The recipe for the transition from a world of your knowing and your absolutes to a world of God's knowing, divine knowing, and divine absolutes is this. First, I give my structures of knowing, my characterizations, and my grievances to God. You have to be willing to unload all of this. Every structure of knowing, when its time has come, when its lifespan has expired, hand it over. Give your characterizations. For God's sake, give your cartoon characters over to God. Because what you'll find is when you hand over the cartoon to God, what you're going to get is an expression of the Christ in its stead. With each and every person, this is the reality. I embrace mystery. I trust. I know who I am and who others are. I'm no longer going to be a case of mistaken identity. I'm no longer going to be a victim of identity theft. I release judgment, embrace acceptance, and I am willing to change my perception and my experience. And I guarantee you this, my friends, you may be clinging for dear life to your perception of somebody or something. You don't want it. What you want is to be free. And no matter how uncomfortable the journey toward your freedom might feel at certain times, the reality is this. It is taking you to a place and a space of joy. So you say to that person that you're uncomfortable with, you say to that situation that you're uncomfortable with, I release you and set myself free to live in joy. God bless you.